Yeah, hi all. This is Vishal here from Trapcode. So in this video, we will understand how to use custom uh, sentence or basically a dynamic sentence where you want to replace some values with the uh, item values or in other things you want to uh, keep it as hard coded. So let's say we are writing a description for a product, or we want to send an email, or we want to send a, a message on Slack. So you want to create a template where some things are fixed and other things will get changed on the basis of for which item or for which record of which user they are getting called right so let's see how that can be done in trap code so we have a collection called product let's go to the configuration product has name description image price shipping charge let's say i want to write a short description that hi this is a product with name product name and the price is this and shipping charge is this right you want to write a small paragraph or a small description using a custom sentence drive field so let's see how this can be done so i'll go to my drive fields and create a small dynamic description and in the in the method i'll choose custom sentence Right now, I want to write the logic. So, to write the logic, we'll need the name of the field which we want to replace dynamically. So, how we get it? We go to the collection and click this green icon. Right. So, this basically displays the structure of that particular record so that you can use it to display or change the values. Right. So, let's say I my sentence is the product product name is now i need a, a placeholder for the name so i'll go and copy the variable and put the double curly braces name and the price is now we need price so i'll go back and calculate the and copy the price double curly braces and the shipping charge is now shipping charge same thing we'll go to the shipping charge and then double cut replaces this it's a sentence so the manufacturing date is the manufacturing date which is this and let's say create it so it has created a very small sentence which is telling something about the product and the values will get picked on the basis of which product it is talking about right so now let's use it let's use it in a data table where we just display this field I already have a data table so i'll just go and reset it so that uh, i'll reset it so that uh, the new drive fields which we just created should start appearing here Okay, so let's say name is fine. I'll just remove all these things. You don't need. I don't need this description. Okay, uh, let's say instead of image, I want to display my small dynamic description which we just created. Right. Whatever. Now let's go and preview this. So here if you see this is basically getting generated from the custom sentence drive field. You see that the product name is P1 which is picking from P1 and the price is 100 which is picking from the price and the shipping charge is 20 which is 20. Same thing for P2 product name is p2 price is this and this so this way you can basically create a dynamic string or a dynamic uh, sentence which you can use maybe for the description you want to send it an email you want to uh, give a notification on the slack or you want to send it to external crm so this way basically it gives you much more flexibility that okay how you want, want to basically create the or details of a particular record or particular item and having all those dynamic value getting replaced Hope this is clear now. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye.